This one video made more than $1,000 without YouTube ads. I'm gonna show you how you can monetize a small YouTube channel without needing 4,000 watch hours. Here's some context. This video is from my other channel, Pixel Mystique Games. I've stopped posting videos here to focus on other projects and yet it's still generating income for me. Most people think that you can only make money on YouTube through YouTube ads. Here are some things you should consider. First of all, the revenue from ads is not that great. You get different rates from your ads depending on a few factors. For example, which niche you're in, what kind of videos are you making, how many views you're getting per video, and so on and so forth. In fact, here's some research from keywordstool.io on their blog suggesting that on average, you need half a million views to earn $1,000. Sure, this is not going to be true for every single type of channel, and as I mentioned, there are other factors, but this is an average that's kind of scary for you to meet. Secondly, people are fixated on hitting the 1,000 subscriber mark. However, they keep underestimating how challenging it can get to reach that 4,000 watch hours. In other words, it's gonna take you quite a while before you can make a lot of money from YouTube ads, and it's also quite unreliable. So here's what I did instead. I did my research and reviewed and compiled the best Udemy courses for game development specifically, since that's the focus of my channel. Within the video itself, I went ahead and included links to those specific courses that I mentioned in my video. From there, I get a small commission whenever someone clicks on the links and purchase any of the courses and it's at no extra charge to them. Those of you who are not familiar, this is the concept called affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is an advertising model in which companies compensate third-party publishers to generate traffic or leads to their product or services. Basically, if you have an audience, companies are paying you to get attention and draw those eyeballs towards whatever it is that they're offering. I'll show you the different types of tactics and videos that you can make to incorporate affiliate marketing later in this video, so stick around. But first, let me explain why affiliate marketing can be such a great revenue source for a small YouTube channel. You see, you don't need to create your own products. You're just selling and offering someone else's product, and that means zero cost to you, and you can spend more time building up your audience instead. And that just means that you just need to spend some time to create the materials, in this case, YouTube videos, to promote those products. Secondly, you can build trust with your audience. Whenever you recommend different tools, services, and products, you'll be perceived as the go-to expert for that specific topic in your niche. People would do research before buying products, so this is one of the best ways for you to build that relationship with your audience and show them that you know your stuff. And let's not forget, affiliate marketing does not incur any extra cost to your audience. So all in all, it's a win-win-win scenario. Your audience get to solve a problem thanks to your recommendation on the right type of tools and products. You as a content creator get a small commission and generate revenue consistently through the different videos that you make. And then the companies themselves who give you the affiliate commission get more sales and more attention to their brand. If you need more information and help with affiliate marketing and the best practices, check out this PDF guide that I made, link in the description below. So here are some video ideas that you can use to incorporate affiliate marketing into your content strategy. The first idea is a product review. So this is pretty straightforward. People who want to buy something, before they commit to that purchase, they want to do research first to make sure that it's worth their money. So one of the things you can do is to share your experience with the products that you've used in the past. And what you wanna do is list down the pros and cons of that particular product and be fair in your review as well as mention maybe in the summary why you still prefer this product over the others. So another way to be helpful with your reviews is to mention who should buy this product. Is it for beginners? Is it for pro levels? Is it for a specific type of project? This way you can help that person choose to pursue this product or not. So an example is doing a product review about a very specific camera. Make sure you include some visuals and representation of how the product works. The next video idea is actually related to a product review, and that is product comparison. So don't just stop at just one camera model. You can go and compare other cameras. So 
For example, I can type in Canon M50, which is a specific model, versus, and YouTube will give me a whole bunch of other models to compare with. And you can tell that there are people doing research and they're trying to decide between one product or the other. So this can be in the form of versus videos, or it could be a listicle video. For example, you can do a compilation like the best mirrorless camera for 2021. So you can see some examples here. For example, top five mirrorless cameras. You know, what are the best cameras for 2021? So this way you have not just two cameras, but also potentially five or 10 for people to go through and make the comparison. In fact, this is the same format I use for suggesting my best UDB courses for game development. As you can see here, I listed down at least five examples for them to choose from. So what's great about this comparison review format is that you can reuse the old footage that you had for that one particular product review. So this way you save a bit more time and be more efficient. Some of the tips I would recommend is to mention your preference towards the end of the video. And this is useful for a few reasons. Number one, some products might be very, very similar to the comparators. So it's very hard for your viewer to make a decision. Your opinion would be able to push them to one direction or the other. And secondly, some people who have already been following you for a while may want to mimic your success in that particular topic. So they want to know what are the best tools that you use through your experience. And they want to basically replicate the toolkit that you have. And the next tip I have is to like this video. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, but seriously, if you find this video helpful so far, I really appreciate it if you hit that like button and this way you'll tell the YouTube algorithm that this video should be shown to more people just like you. Another video idea is to make tutorials. So one way you can do a research on this is to key in that specific product name and put in the word how to in front. For example, how to set up Canon M50. And from here, I get a lot of suggestions for different types of subtopics for live streaming, for video, as a webcam, for vlogging. And from here, that's where you can identify the different problems and the potential solution that this particular product might be able to solve. And this is how you can create more specific targeted tutorials that will be something that your audience is looking for. So remember, the stronger the relation between the problems that your audience is facing and the solution that your product can help solve, the more likely they are to not only subscribe and keep watching your videos, but also to click the link in the description and make that purchase for that product. Hey, if you wanna learn more about how to grow on YouTube and get more views to your product videos and tutorials, check out these videos right here. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and share this with others who want to learn the same thing. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.